With the increase in the data exchange between multiple devices over the network channel, we need algorithm to control the error and the damage done to the data being transferred over the network channel. Where checksum plays an important role. Hi guys and welcome to yet another interesting video by Simply Learn. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to miss an update from us. Now without further ado, let's take a look at the agenda for today's session. To begin with, we will look into what is checksum. Continuing with why to apply checksum method in a data exchange. Continuing with working steps involved in the checksum. And in the end, we will look at a solved example for the same. Now, let's take a look at the first setting that is checksum. The checksum is one of the most applied error detection method in the network channel and is a bit based format detection method. The checksum uses checksum generator on the sender side to perform the checksum method and the checksum checker on the receiver side to check whether there is an error in the data or not. Let's continue with the next setting that is why to apply checksum method. Using the checksum method at the sender side, the checksum value is added to the original data to be transferred as an error detection method. Whereas at the receiver side, it decodes the incoming data from the sender side according to the checksum method to detect any changes in the given data. Now let's move on to the working steps involved in the checksum method. There are various steps involved in the checksum method. Let's take a look at the first step. That is, the first step begins at the sender side where we divide the original data into k parts of n bits. Continuing with adding all the k blocks we have obtained, then the addition result is complemented using one's complement. The data now obtained is known as the checksum value. Next, let's look at the step 2. Data transmission. After we have received the checksum value from the checksum method, we will add it to the front of the original data and transfer it to the network channel to the receiver side. Now step 3. Step 3 begins at the receiver side that is it will divide that is the receiver side will divide the obtained original data plus the checksum value into k blocks and then add all the k blocks using addition. After that we will complement the obtained data. If the complement of 1 comes out to be 0, that is, no errors are received in the data and the receiver will accept the data. Whereas for case 2, if the result is not 0, the received data is damaged. So the receiver will discard this data and request for retransmission of data from the sender side. Now, after understanding all the points regarding working of the checksum method. Let's take a look at a solved example to better understand all the points. The question is for the given data perform the checksum method. This is how we divided all the four parts. Each of these represents a k block that is four blocks and eight bits in each of the block that is n bits. Now for the first step that is at the sender side we will add all the given data so the value would come out to be 1000 0, 0, that would be 1, 0100 0, 0 would be 1, 0, 0, 0011 1 would be 1 carry 0. So 1 carry plus 1 means 0 plus 1 carry again, 1 carry plus 1 means 0 and 1 carry again, 1 0 1 that is 1 carry 0 plus 1 plus 0 means 1. So 1 carry is over on the this side. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 1 carry 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0 and 0. And we have 1 carry over here. So the obtained data would be 1 0 with extra bit as this. Now to resolve this issue we will 
Now add the extra carry to the obtained data from the addition part. That would be 1010100. Now at the sender side, we will do once complement for the obtained addition value. That would come out to be 11011010. That is the checksum value. Now this value addition to the original data will be shared to the receiver side. Where at the receiver side, we will again perform the addition method. And the value comes out to be this along with two digits of extra bit that is the carry. Again, similarly, we will add this carry to the addition value and get the new data that is all ones. Now, again going by the steps, we have to perform once complement for this value obtained that comes out to be all zeros. That means the checksum value is zero at the receiver side, which indicates that there are no errors in the received data by the receiver side. With this, we have completed all the points regarding working of the checksum method. Now, to better understand all the steps, let's take up a quiz. That is, for the given data, find the checksum value, where the given options can be one of them. You can give your answers in the comment section. If you have any questions regarding the topic, you can ask them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.